Hello learners. In the previous topic, we have learned about computer memory and its hierarchy. And in this topic, we will study about the instructions, their classification, and how the way in which these instructions are stored inside the computer memory. So, let's dwell deeper into the world of computer memories. First of all, what is a bit? As we studied, computer understands only one and zero. So, both of these known as bits. So, a bit can be zero or one. Now, when we combine eight bits together, it becomes a byte. Next is word. It is smallest unit that can be addressed. Its size depends upon the processor. It can be 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit and so on. As we know, computer works as we give instructions to it. The instructions and the data needed by a program are stored in memory. The processor reads the next instruction to be executed from memory. It is placed in an instruction register, IR. It is the task of the control circuitry in control unit to translate the instruction into the sequence of micro operations because these instructions taken by computer in the form of 0 and 1. A computer instruction has three parts. An OP code, operation code. It specifies the operation for that instruction. The OP code field in an instruction format is a group of bits to define operations such as add, subtract, complement and bitwise shift. As the memory words are 16 bits long, the three bits are used for the instructions op code. The various addressing modes used by digital computers will be discussed in the next section. An address. It specifies the registers or the memory locations to be used for that operation. In a 16-bit computer, 12 bits are used to specify the memory address that instruction will use. A mode. It specifies the way the operand or effective address is to be computed. In 16-bit computer, 15th bit of the instruction is used to specify the addressing mode. 0 for direct addressing and 1 for indirect addressing we will study later. It specifies how the address field of instruction will be decoded to get the address of the location to be assessed. Now, these instructions are further categorized. Classification of instructions based on CPU organizations. Classification of instructions based on number of addresses required. Classification of instructions based on type of data that can assess or the type of data they can refer to. Firstly, we discuss classification of instructions based on CPU organizations. Most computer instructions, they fall into the following three types of CPU organizations. Single accumulator instructions, general register instructions, and stack instructions. Now, move towards accumulator type organization. In this organization, 
all operations are performed in the accumulator register. For example, an arithmetic addition instruction and the corresponding operation of an assembly language instruction is add AC arrow AC plus MX where AC is the accumulator register that have one of the operands band MX symbolizes the memory word located at address X A. So this instruction add two operands A and B and store result in AC. All arithmetic, logic, load and store instructions use the accumulator register. Next is general register type. Each address field may specify a CPU register or a memory word. For example, add R1 and Y. This instruction means add two numbers, one in register, instead accumulator and another at some memory location. And result will be stored into R1 register. R1 arrow, R1 plus MY. It contains two address fields, one for register R1 and the other for the memory address Y. Next is stack instructions. First of all, what is stack? It is a kind of memory that is used to store data. It has a specific property last in first out means which data stored at last is retrieved first like a stack of bowels. Here we pick that bowel first which we kept at the last. Process of inserting data in stack is called push. Put a bowel on stack. And process of deleting data from stack is called pop, remove bowel from stack. So, generally stack instructions are push and pop. Example, push Y. This instruction pushes the word Y to the top of the stack. Updating of the stack pointer is automatically done. Operation type instructions do not need an address field in stack organization. Next, classification of instructions based on number of addresses required. Three address instructions, two address instructions, one address instructions, zero address instructions. First, let's discuss three address instructions. Three address instruction formats can use three address field that specify either a processor register or a memory operand. Add R1 A B R1 arrow M A plus M B where R1 is processor register and MA denotes the operand at memory address specified by A that have value 10 and MB have value 15. So, after calculation, 2525 stored into register R1. Two address instructions. These instruction formats are most common in computers in which two addresses files exist. Each address field can specify either a processor register or a memory word. The two address code is move R1A, R1 arrow MA. The move V instruction moves 
or transfers the operands to and from memory and processor registers. Here, instructions meaning is move data from memory location A to register R1. Next is one address instructions. One address instructions are instructions that have one address field. Load A. AC arrow MA. Store T. Empty arrow AC. Load C. AC arrow MC. These all are examples of one address instructions. All operations are done between the AC register and a memory operand. T is the address of a temporary memory location required for storing the intermediate result. Next is zero address instructions. Stack is included in the CPU for performing arithmetic and logic instructions with no addresses. The operands are pushed onto the stack from memory and ALU operations are implicitly performed on the top elements of the stack. The address of the next instruction is held in a CPU register called program counter. A stack organized computer does not use an address field for the instructions add and MUL. Push A, TOS arrow A, add TOS arrow A plus B, pop X, MX arrow TOS, where TOS stands for top of the stack. To evaluate arithmetic expressions in a stack computer, it is necessary to convert the expression into reverse Polish notation. The term zero address is given because of the absence of an address field in the computational instructions. Third one is classification of instructions based on type of data they can assess or the type of data they can refer to. According to this, instructions are divided further into three categories. Memory reference instructions, register reference instructions and input output instructions. Memory reference instructions are instructions that contain such operations which are performed on data that's stored in memory. Similarly, register reference instructions have operations on registers data. And last one, Input output instructions are those instructions that perform operation with input output devices. Thank you.